guys, it's Google again with another ROM review and this time I've got the Pure Fusion Oreo for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Pure Fusion ROM for the OnePlus 3. Now, it has been available for quite some time. I wasn't in town when it was released and uh, it seems it has got a few updates which actually make it much better and I really really like it. Let's get started. Now, first of all, I'm using Nova Launcher. It comes with Launcher 3 so you can get that. Works out really well. I'm not going to do it that. Look at the about phone in the about phone page. You can see it is Pure Fusion. It is 8.0, not 8.1 like other ROMs are. And you can see that uh, that's a little easter egg for those people who still use Geo, like I do. So let's <laughs> let's just get that done. Also, one more thing. I am using a custom fund. It comes with the stock audio fund. Uh, nothing special about that. I'm using clear type or typeface. Uh, to change the font, it works out really well. Just wanted to try it out real quick. And our security patches is December, and that is amazing to see. Now, I am using a custom kernel on this one because I have already done all the st testings I needed to do with the stock kernel. Stock kernel is a slightly different kernel, it is 3.18.89 by the developer. So it does work out really well, but I do want to mention that in the previous or in the next session. So, yeah, that's there. Apart from that, SLS is still permissive and yeah, all of these options are still there. So, Pure Fusion ROM. I reviewed this ROM when it was in Nougat and uh, I, I really like this ROM. It works out really well, but there are there were a few things which I did not like about it. I mean, the main reason I had a bad time with Pure Fusion is that I, I had a lot more expectation out of it. But when you consider in Oreo where a lot of our other ROMs are not a feature heavy ROM. This one is. This one has a lot of features going on for it. Works out really well. Let's get to the features. Now first of all, everything works. You can see Geo VLT is working. I am using GeoSIM. I have been using uh, VLT for the past time whenever I have been using this ROM. Everything works out even after reboot. So that is a main issue which 8.1 ROMs do face as of now. Let's go to the extra settings now. First of all, in the EU. The, all the settings are inside this fusion reactor option which is pretty cool to have uh, status bar item can be customized and you can have all of the functions enabled or disabled status bar icon can be customized it does have roaming indicator and 4g icon instead of lte quick setting panel can be customized also quick setting pull down is available and also smart pull down is available brightness slider and brightness icon in the quick setting tile i really like this one which is uh, this uh, brightness slider on the bottom it was something which I found in the value this ROMs. I really like this because I think it is a much better use of the space which is provided there. Works out really well, I really like that. Apart from that, uh, carrier label can be customized, traffic indicators are available. It's not the full featured one but it does contain this option now which is really cool. Sales bar gestures are available and you can customize that. In the notification stuff, you do have battery light customization. General settings, you can customize all of these. App icon can be enabled in the toast icon which is great. Headset display can be customized, it does have a few options here you can enable uh, two seconds for timeout and since timer I have then disabled that because I don't like that also ticker can be enabled or disabled you can do that button customization the button customization you do have navbar options now this is DUI style navbar option which is great it does have a lot of options also hardware key button can be customized you have disabled hardware key if you are someone who uses navbar apart from that back button recent button and home button can be customized now something which you need to keep in mind is that the back button and uh, overview button are flipped and I, I call that the Samsung scheme. There is no swap button like other ROMs does so that's something of a sore spot. The power button customization you do have all the options which you can customize. There is options uh, for all of this you can enable or disable that. Volume rocker customization is available and these options do work out. I have tried it out with my music player. Works out really well no issues with that and keyboard cursor control one of my pet peeves it's also there. In the recent UI button you have you can enable icon pack you can customize that. Memory bar can be enabled and also clear up button uh, can also be customized so that is there which is pretty cool. Lost in options you in the lock screen UI you can see whether options are available you can enable that. Uh, lock screen charging options and uh, media cover art can also be enabled or disabled if you don't want that. Lock screen button customization can also be customized. Also lock screen gestures are available for double tap on the sleep so that's there. Here is the uh, weather option which is available and you can customize that. Don't worry about this one this is just because of my custom font which I'm using. 
don't worry about it in the normal stock fund it's working one thing which i do want to mention is that the lock screen whether although it's available it doesn't really show up in the active display mode which kind of sucks but uh it's something which you have to get used to it does have app ops so you can customize the application permissions separately and in a much more diverse manner so that's available in the general settings you can enable or disable this one developer settings you can have mtp instead of charging which works out really well also it comes with locket so if you want to uh, notify the developer of using this one or any errors you can do that in build you don't have to go for any other extra stuff in the device extras you do have a few options it does have on-screen gestures you can enable any of this one let's just try out v4 flashlight and um, see if it works because i haven't tried it so yeah it works out it works really well yeah that's uh that was something which was not working in other 8.0 roms or 8.1 roms so that's something there also slider is there and slider is working so i can use that works out really well and it is the total silence and vibrate only all of the options are available you can customize that it works out it works out really well i'm i'm, I'm happy about that also it does have srgb mode and vivid color gamut mode if you want to use that also high brightness mode if you are someone who's you want to use this in the ambient display option it does have proximity sensor hand wave and pocket mode and also pickup sensor which will enable the ambient display mode so works out really well and that is it in the extra settings menu and uh, i've already said this i like the options available with this one it kind of reminds me of nitrogen os but unlike the nitrogen os which i tried recently most of the options does work out nitrogen os has gone on to 8.1 and uh, because of that blt has a few issues and uh, the volume button controls did have a few issues which i found to be a little bit more than what i was liking to have but this one has it all fixed it's still on 8.0 it's going to go 8.1 soon enough i'm not really sure what it's going to get at but for the time being this is my favorite oreo rom it has a great selection of features now all those features does come at a little bit of cost that is in the battle life the battle life options or the uh, functions which i got with this rom wasn't really good uh, right now it's i guess it has been uh, disabled but the battle life hasn't been very good. I got about 2% of idle drain and about 16 to 17% of active drain. Now that is with a stock kernel with all my applications which I normally use for any other ROM. Not the best battle life but still I can still live with that 2% of idle drain. That's the best case scenario. I have had more drain than that. An average of 2% is not the worst uh, I have seen but considering an Oreo ROM it's okay. I can live with that. But what I do want to mention is that I have used a custom kernel which is cesium kernel which is one of the best kernels which is available for audio use that and with an akt profile the active drain actually came down to 11 percentage which is amazing i really like that uh, it's been working out really well for me active drain or the idle drain much of an improvement i got it to about 1.8 1.6 percentage but i think we will need to do a little bit more of uh, wake lock blocking to get to the sub 1.5 percentage so that's something which is gonna be available for the battle life i'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 because i know there is a potential but as of now it's not the best so yeah now the performance the performance of the rom it's okay i don't know what i should call this i got about 125,000 as an average this was the lowest score with it after flashing the fission kernel i got a lower performance that's probably because i had akt kernels enabled this one is uh the initial ones which i got and that is a pretty bad score in my opinion there is uh it's not the best uh, let's just say that I can't give it a higher score but using the ROM it's not as bad. I'm reminded of Nitrogen OS and Nitrogen OS also had a 134,000 score. I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 for performance though. Now comes the stability of the ROM and stability is something which I'm really impressed with. There were no FC issues or anything of that sort but I did encounter a few issues when I was trying to set permissions for a few applications and uh, that does cause the application, uh, the setting menu or the setting application to crash. That has been a thing which I have noticed and also rebooting. Rebooting takes a lot of time. Uh, I had more than to for more than one occasion, long press the power button and hard reboot it because it was stuck at the reboot screen. So that is another thing. But I'm gonna still give it 6.0 because I didn't have any Etsy issues when I was using the phone normally and uh, I didn't have any problem when I was using it for my phone as a phone. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that but it's not no get level of uh, stability which i kind of want in a rom but uh, that's just 
a ways ahead, I guess. Now the camera. The camera package is pretty cool. It does come with Snapdragon camera, which is something available. And uh, it has have a few options, which is great. It does have a few options here, which you can customize. It does come with panorama. It does come with video recording. No 60 FPS video recording though, so that's something there. But it also comes with Gcam mode, and you can enable that, you can use that. Works out really well. I have taken a few videos with this with 60 FPS because it does contain 60 FPS options. Works out really well. I'm really impressed with the camera package though. I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Now the aesthetics. Uh, aesthetics is nothing too much special. It doesn't have OMS support or something like that. I mean, it does have substratum support but not the full OMS support. It still asks me for root and all that. You still need root to enable this option. Works out really well, but the colors and all that does get mixed matched a little bit here and there, but that's probably just my theme. I haven't tried a lot of other themes, but it does uh, have all that options there. But something which I really like is that the pixel theme, it does have blue pixel theme rather than the green uh, audio stuff, which I don't really like it. It's just a personal preference. I like it better. I'm gonna give it a 6.5 for aesthetics this time. Now the overall experience and this is where I want to emphasize on this ROM. I haven't been having any issues with this ROM. I don't mind using this ROM as a daily driver. This is the first audio ROM which I actually have used it for more than two days and uh, didn't really need to uh, go for any other ROM. I just we need more features so I'm going to going back to our selection radius because that's where my home is at right now. But I actually like it and with the kernel tweaks with AKT, it works. The battle life is amazing, the performance is top notch, I don't have any issues with it. Though the scores may say otherwise, I don't have any issues with that. It has been working out really well for me and I really do like that. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 for overall experience and I really can't explain why this one is better than other audio ROMs out there. It's probably because of the features and the aesthetics. It really makes me feel good with the blue aesthetic which is available in this one. And mind you, there is option to change the aesthetics of it. If you don't want that or if you don't like the uh, pixel style aesthetics, uh, you have an option to change the aesthetics or device theme to stock and which will change it to green and i absolutely hate that and uh, that's something which i really do like so yeah i guess that much is it uh, let me show you guys the boot animation which is actually pretty cool here is the boot animation for pure fusion rom and uh it's pretty cool the atomic uh thing going on with the pure fusion in the middle it, it, it pulls my heartstrings i like it <laughs> it's something here and uh, yeah it's cool so I guess how much is it about the ROM then? Um, as I've already said, the VLT does survive reboot, so that's something which uh, some people would like it. And uh, yeah, it's a great little ROM. I like it. I like it a lot. It's been working out. Something else. Yeah, this thing works. Uh, it hasn't been working in any other Oreo ROMs which I tried. Granted, I didn't try a lot of Oreo ROMs because I didn't feel it would work in any other situation. So yeah, that thing, amazing. I like it. I like it a lot. So. Yeah, I guess that should be it. Um, again, there are a few things which I do want to mention. I personally will not be using this ROM as a daily driver just because I like more features. But if I had to choose an Oreo ROM, I would choose this one over the stock one because stock one, well, while it's good and it's great, I like more features. I like a lot more features than the stock one can offer. So. Yeah, I guess I'm just about this warm then hope you guys like the video. Please subscribe and like the video if you found it useful. See you guys next time. Bye.